couple of weeks back I promised that I will uh, share a script to deactivate a user and uh, I'm glad that today I am uh, keeping my pro promise and I am sharing a script that you can use to deactivate users. Now this script I'll not really explain each and every aspect of the script. The script is uh, quite simple but what I did in this script, I basically made a function, this activate deactivate user, this method that I can call and it will take two arguments or three arguments. So the first argument is basically the username. So right now this username is nothing but a, but a string and the second argument is basically true or false. So if you want to activate a user, you can pass true. If you want to deactivate a user, you can pass false. Now this script, and of course you can pass log if you want to. Uh, I'm just doing it because I want to capture log at each and every step, but you get the idea. Now, if you look at this method here, what I'm trying to do is I'm first trying to get the user object. And uh, based on this user, I'm using this uh, user service again using a component accessor so component accessor is uh, quite useful and before you can do anything with the user before you can activate or deactivate it you need to check whether that particular uh, operation is uh, valid or not for example you cannot really deactivate a user if the user is uh, let us say a component lead for example or there could be some something else and uh, you need to first check so I'm basically using user service dot validate update user where I'm passing the um, where basically I'm passing the um, action that I want to perform. I want to activate the user or deactivate the user. Now I'm then using uh, and by the way I'm also using this uh, validation result. If uh, let us say this validation results gives you some kind of uh, an error you will get this in the log. Now, at the same time, you are also able to use a switch here. So basically this method is basically doing both. So if you want to act the way, activate the user, so this particular case statement will be applicable where we are trying to activate the user. And uh, similarly, we are checking if the argument is false, then we are, de we are deactivating the user. Now, if the user is already active, then we are uh, simply printing a message that, you know, user is already active, you know, just a nice message. Uh, and if not, then uh, we will attempt to act activate the user and then we'll finally update the user with the, the validation result, which is on top, uh, which is coming from uh, the, the top here. Now, let us take a look at the script and the user that I'm using is uh, charlie.s. Now, if I, let us say, run the script, right now it will give you this message here that says let us wait for it so charlie right now is i believe i, I, I don't know the current uh, status of charlie's uh, account I, I don't know if the charlie is uh, active or not active let me just refresh my user list the script is taking a bit more time than usual uh, it's not only really the script but it is basically my Jira instance, which is on local. Anyways, so Charlie is right now inactive. And uh, it is now, if you look at the script, we are trying to activate the user the, because the argument is true. Now it says attempting to uh, attempting to activate. Charlie is activated. Uh, we can take a look at the user listing. If you don't trust me, you can uh, take a look at the user listing page here. And uh, hopefully it will show you that Charlie is now active. You can do the same thing with the uh, uh, deactivation. So just pass in false here. All right. I will now run the same script again and uh, it will make the user active. Now, again, if for some reason you're do do doing it for some user, uh, I'll keep the script running. So let us say if we do it for this user, couple.m, uh, this user is right now active. We'll try to 
inactivated. So Charlie, if we, if we refresh it, Charlie should be disabled now. And uh, the script works. That is a good thing. And of course, don't worry about the script. I will share the script. Now let us try to deactivate someone else. I want to deactivate couple.m and the argument is false here. So you can right now couple is active and the couple is indeed um, I know that couple.m this user is used. He is used somewhere. So let us run the script and let us wait for the output. Now with this particular script it will only be able to deactivate the user if if we can deactivate it, if the validation results are positive. Uh, there is nothing bothering, if there is nothing stopping uh, this user from getting deactivated. Now the, the output is uh, not really great. It says, if you look here, update of couple.m failed. And uh, we, we do have this error here that says, uh, cannot deactivate user because they are currently a component lead. Now, you get the idea. So basically, using this uh, script, you can uh, activate and you can deactivate a user. And ho hopefully, you now have a way to manage your users. I shared uh, in the past a way to find your users who are probably not, not really active I, I made few 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 videos and of course I shared uh, scripts where you can deal with your users and now you have a way to deactivate them and you can probably save uh, millions of pounds, dollars in your Jira instance by saving the, the cost on license. So this is all I wanted to share in this video.